Alright guys, well Ben um, Mason has been having a little bit bad luck in the money cards, but he's still the champion. He has $18,500, so we're ready to go. He's ready to go into his fourth game, and he's going to face JVD for this game. So, let me put the names up there. And JVD. All right, y'all guys ready to play? Yes. All right, here we go. This is the last game of the night, so make it good, okay? This first question goes to you, Ben. We asked 100 married women, or excuse me, not women, we asked 100 married men, has your wife rearranged the living room furniture this year? How many married men say yes, the wife has rearranged the living room furniture this year? I hate it when they do that. Oh, really? <laughs> You're not I, even married. I, I don't mean to be personal here. Well, I can say that. I'm married. I can say that. <laughs> yeah. Has your wife um, rearranged any uh, furniture this year? In your hell house? yeah. What? I said hell yeah. Oh, well, good answer. Uh, I have to say, uh, uh, women are prone to doing that a lot, so I'll go with, uh, I'll go with, uh, I'll go with number 64. With 64, here you go. JVD, you believe it's higher or lower than 64? I'm not even married. <laughs> neither am I, JVD, neither am I. Hmm. Y'all will be excited when they do that every uh, over uh, three months. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say it's a small bit lower. You lower, okay. Okay, let's check it out. The actual number of married men that say yes, their wife has rearranged the living room furniture this year is 52. It is lower. Good job, JVD. Okay, your opening card is an 8, JVD. How do you want to play it? Change it, please. Okay, let's change it. The 8 becomes a 2. Good. Higher. Higher than a 2 is a 10. Lower. Lower than a 10 is a 2. Higher. Higher than a two. It's a four. Higher. To win the first game, higher than a two. I mean, four. Yeah, there you go, JVD. It's a nine. Higher than another two. Apparently, you got three twos. What the hell? Yeah, it didn't make sense there. Okay, you got $1,000 very quick. You found less than, huh? Yeah, you got $1,000 very quickly, JVD. And we already off to uh, round number two of Card Sharks. And, JVD, this is your high low question. We asked 100 pediatricians, should baby be fed whenever they're hungry, or should they be kept on, on a strict schedule? How many pediatricians said baby should be kept on a strict schedule? Uh, I, don't this be, I don't think this is gonna be a very high number. Uh, babies are starting out, so their metabolism is a bit quick. So I'm going to say it's going to be a relatively low number. I'm going to say around 34. With 34, okay. Let me uh, get that. Hold on. Two number buttons. Oh, I see what's going on here. Stop. Remind me later. Okay. <laughs> Apologize for that. 34. Remind me never. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you think, uh, Ben? Is it higher or lower than 34? Hmm. Being fed on a strict, uh, on a strict schedule, uh, I agree with them. I'll have to say the answer is higher. A little higher, okay. Let's check it out. The actual number of pediatricians that said babies should be kept on a strict schedule is only 19. It is not higher; it is lower. So JVD, you get it, and you have a great card of an ace, JVD. Keep it and go lower. Lower than an ace. It's a seven. Freeze. Freeze. You're on the seven, keeping Ben away from his cards and Ben, your question. Ben, we asked 100 high school seniors across the country, if you could, would you stay in high school one more year? How many high school seniors say yes, they would stay in high school one more year? You know, it's fine that you ask that question. You see, because when I was going to high school, I, I, I was 
only supposed to graduate in 2005, but I said, ah, screw it. So I should stay another year. And you know what? I did, and it paid off. Really, uh, I did. Really? Okay. I did, yeah. Anyway, uh, but uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 20, uh, I'm gonna say 23. Going 23, okay. What do you think, um, JVD, is it higher or lower than 23? Can you repeat the question again? Yes, sir. We asked 100 high school seniors across the country, if you, if you could, would you stay in high school one more year? How many high school seniors said yes, they would stay in high school one more year? You said 23, that's, I still think that's actually surprisingly a little bit high. So I'm gonna say it's a little lower. You're going lower, okay. Let's check it out. The actual number of high school seniors that said yes, they would stay in high school for one more year is 26 it is not lower, it's a little higher. All right, well, Ben, you got it. Um, You got the 10 showing. What do you want to do with that 10? Change it. Okay, he's going to change the 10. The 10 becomes a 7. Mm, not a good change, huh? Anyway, I'll go lower. Lower than a 7. No, it's a jack. All right, free chance, JVD. you got to play off the 7. I'm going to say higher. Higher than 7? No, it's a 6. Okay. <laughs> Damn you, six. That six had to come up. Okay. Oh, wow, six. And I believe that. Okay, let's see who gets this next question. It goes to you, JVD. We asked 100 people who live in Beverly Hills, does someone in your family work in show business? How many people say yes, somebody in their family work in show business, JVD? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, put me on the spot, don't you? You know what? I hate doing this. It's a really cheap move, but I'm going to go right down the middle, say 50. I had a feeling you was going to do that. Number 50, okay. Uh, ben, yes. Is, is it higher or lower than 50? Uh, I'm going to say the answer is going to be a little bit lower because there aren't that many people. Look, look. That, that are in show business and they have, have anybody in family that, from Beverly Hills. But, you know, but about me, there aren't many, very many people here in Chris Pam Sis that are in show business. Okay. Like me. Okay, so you're going with lower. Yeah. Okay, here's the, we'll find out the answer. The actual number of uh, people that said that their family do work in show business that live in Beverly Hills is... Wow, 52 it is not lower, it's a little higher. All right, JV, do you have it? You have the seven. Shocked. <laughs> uh, I'll change the seven. Okay, he's changing. The seven becomes a nine. Not bad, not bad. I'll, I'll try it lower. Lower than a nine. No, it's a jack. All right, free chance, Ben. You have the seven to work with. It's got to be lower. It has to be. You think it's low? Let's see. It's lower than a seven? No, it's a jack. All right, this is the fourth and final question. Somebody must win on this play of the cards. So control is critical. Ben, this is your question. We asked 100 pediatricians, has one of your patients ever given you the measles? How many pediatricians say yes, one of their patients given them the measles? Jackpot. The measles. Oh, my God. Is it really that contagious? It can yeah. be. can be. Uh, Oh boy, this is a toughie. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just puzzled here. I'm just, I just, I, I, I. It's, it's just, it's a hard question. Um, but I'll say 40, 47. Well, 47, okay. Okay, JVD, is it higher or lower than 47? I'm having a feeling it's a touch higher, but I, I'm not. I'm try higher, He's going higher. Okay, this is an important decision, so let's check it out. The actual number of pediatricians that say yes, their patients has given them the measles is. Oh, it's eight. It's not higher. It's lower. Okay. All right, uh, Ben, you have a decision to make. You have the seven showing on the board, and you need four cards to go to tie up the match, and you have the power to change that seven if you want to. JVD has the nine. 
he has three cards to go, but does not have the power to change it. Now you have a decision you made. Do you want to play it yourself or pass it to JVD? JVD, it's all you. Okay, he's all passing it to JVD. JVD, got a call off the nine. Got to call it lower. Okay, let's see. Lower than the nine is a three. Higher. Higher than the three. No, it's a double, and Ben tied up the game. All right, Ben, you're up to $19,500. Now we're going to go into our three-card, three-question showdown to see who's going to win the game and go to the money cards for $144,000. And we go to you, uh, JVD, first with the questioning. We found 100 women executives. These are women that are all vice presidents of corporations and ask them, do you make more money than your husband? How many women executives said they do make more money than their husband? 56. Going with 56. Just because it sounds like a good number. Okay. <laughs> all right. What do you think? Is it higher or lower than 56, Ben? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to give you a straight answer. Lower. Going lower. Okay. And I'm going to give you a straight answer and see what the answer is. The actual number of women executives that said they do make more money than their husband is 45. It is lower. Would you hold on a second? I will. And when you come back, you got an ace showing, ACE. It was a bad time for him to walk away because he got a good car showing. All right, I'm back. Oh, I got a good car. Lower. He's going lower, okay. Lower than the ace. It's a jack. What a championship lower. If you're right, Ben, this will be your fourth match one. You'll be one match away from getting into the tournament of champions and winning a $25,000 bonus. Lower than the jack. Yeah, Ben, you got it. All right. All right, Ben, you have won $20,500 in just a moment. You're going on to the money cost for $144,000. JVD, you're, you're not going empty-handed. You have $1,000 for winning that game, and our congratulations. Yep. All right, uh, Ben, you're, you're doing fine now. You have won four games in a row. Are you ready to go off to the money cards for that $144,000? Fourth time will be a charm, I hope. Hopefully, let's uh, go there. Going to the money cards here. And I know the drill. Yes, you do. So if you do this, Ben, you'll be the second person in the Tournament of Champions. Okay, we bring up the uh, money card board here. And give me a number between one and 52 and we're on our way. And the Bears has a touchdown, JVD, 7-0. I'll go for number seven then. You're going with seven, okay. Once these cards come up, we'll give you $1,000 and we'll start off. Okay, for $1,000, your opening card is a four. No guts, no glory. $1,000 higher. He's going for it. $1,000 higher than a four. No, you busted. It's a three. We bring you up to the second level. You got another $1,000. And uh, let's see what you can do with this one. What do you think, Ben? I think the I think I'm gonna go the whole bottle of wax higher. Okay, he's not changing the card. Okay, everything higher than a three. It's a four. You got two thousand dollars and a four. They can't do this to me twice. All of it higher. We hope not. Okay. Everything higher than a four is a seven. Good. You have four thousand dollars and a seven. Can I please change the card? Number yes, you, one. Yes, you can. Okay, he's changing it with number one. The seven becomes a jack. Four thousand dollars and a jack, Ben. 
Aha! $2,000 lower. Okay, $2,000. We'll go over then a jack. No. Okay, but uh, what are you going to do now? You have $2,000 in the ace. Well, let's put me back to where I was just a second ago. Everything lower. Yeah, sure it is. Let's see. We know it's lower. There it is. You got $4,000. Good job, Ben. So it didn't really cost me anything. Nope. Okay, you're inching along here. We add another um $20,500 to your total. That gives you $24,500. Now, Ben, you'll be playing your fifth game. And when you want to do that fifth game the next time? Uh, probably sometime, uh, probably sometime this weekend or, or, so, or something like that. Okay, just let me know on uh, Facebook. If you win your fifth game, Ben, you'll be in the tournament and we'll give you a $25,000 bonus, okay? Mm, so, very well, I could end up with, uh, oh boy, over $50,000 next time. Yep. So we'll we'll see if that can happen. Okay, guys, this is Rodney One Two Seven Nine signing off. Saying, be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and thanks for supporting my channel. Because without this, without y'all watching my channel, it would not be possible. Good night, everybody. Goodbye, Rodney. Here we go. Waiting for the credits. Thank you.